Hi everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I know I said I wasn't doing this on a Monday, but um I decided to go ahead and do it. Uh because well somebody was asking for something and and there was something that I just thought I I needed to do and, and maybe needed to say a little bit. And um I'm gonna be talking a little bit about flirting. I I talked a little bit about flirting long, long ago on my uh site, um single girl in a weird world. And I talked about it there along and it was an article about, you know, flirting and what flirting means and a little bit of how to do flirting. And what I'm finding is um a lot of black women going into this sort of interracial um dating thing don't know how to flirt. And um it's it's curious. Um because either it's just not something people's moms and probably people's moms like, no, 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 you don't need to know that. I don't need you with, a, you know, with some boy or getting pregnant or, or some craziness that they thought was going to happen. Um, if they taught their daughters how to be feminine and do a little flirtation. There are a lot of good books about flirting. Um, there are a lot of other good um blog sites that talk about it and I think you should look at my blog list and, and click on some of those and see what you can find. There's a lot of people that talk about flirting and how to flirt and what you need to do to flirt, you know, and stuff. It's not um it's not difficult. Um and it's a little bit of a, a fine art, but the weird thing about it is I am a natural flirtatious person. Don't ask me where it came from, but I am and have always been and so it's very easy for me to flirt with people and uh so what's happened is you know um i know a little bit about flirting and specifically about flirting when it comes to interracial dating and white men because many black women um uh white men or even non-black men many black women don't really um aren't really sure what to do when it when it goes to when it comes around to flirting and how you flirt with someone and stuff you know and um men are all different and different cultures of men are different you know uh, white american men are different than hispanic um american men and asian men are different than white men and stuff men are different now what i know for sure is that black men are really forward they always have been they always have been with me the majority have been all their lives they don't really give two hoots about trying to holla at a woman and stuff, you know, um, disrespectful, um, don't really care. Um, hey, Miss Lady, you know, I know you heard it and stuff. You know, if you're a black woman, I know you heard it and stuff. I've heard it, too. You know, I'm 40 years old. I didn't just come to this party, get to this party. I know. And stuff. So I know how they are. And uh, so if you're used to that, if that's what you're used to, you will find flirting with other men maybe a little more difficult and um, uh, a little more treacherous, um, you know, because you're not familiar with how they do things. And because I've dated generations so long, I do get it. I do get how, you know, guys date, you know, in, I mean, flirt differently. Now, when it comes to white men, really, they're very subtle, and you have to kind of pay close attention. If you don't pay close attention, you may miss them altogether and stuff, and they do it very subtle. Um, but if you know, you know, if you get that they're paying attention and they're, they're flirting with you, um, you'll know. Now, for most black women, they're so afraid that white men aren't going to like them or that non-black men aren't going to like them. They don't do the little things that are flirts, the little simple stuff that's a really simple flirt. They don't smile. And I don't really understand why more black women don't smile, you know, and stuff. And I hear all this stuff about, well, you know, living in the hood, if you smile and stuff. Yeah, you shouldn't always be in the hood, you know, and stuff. If you're trying to date interracial, you need to step outside of the hood to where wherever regular people go and um, go there, okay, and smile. 
black women have some beautiful, beautiful faces. We do. We have really, most of us have really wonderful bone structure, these great full lips, these beautiful eyes and stuff. And we're busy mean mugging and stuff. Now, you have to understand there's something about black women's faces. I don't know what it is that when we don't smile, we usually look very upset or angry. I don't know what that's about, okay, and stuff. I have the same look. So I have to be conscious that when I'm out and about that I don't do my regular kind of relaxed face, which actually doesn't look relaxed. It just looks mad and stuff, Um, and consciously smile at people. Now, I have a nice smile. I've been complimented on my smile a million times. Time. And so I try to smile a lot when I'm out. Now, I'm not looking to flirt with people. I just want to look friendly and open. That's the point of smiling is to look friendly and open. Now, I'm not talking about grinning like the Joker or grinning like an idiot or, or something like that. I mean smiling. And I mean if some guy looks at you, you're standing in the grocery store. Hey, over in the in the in the vegetable aisle or whatever, and some guy is noticing you, and he looks at you, and you look at him. You should smile. If you look, if you think he's somebody that you might be interested in, you should smile. You know, and stuff. Doesn't mean he's gonna smile back. I don't want you to get disgusted because he doesn't smile back. He may turn away. If he turns away, you turn away and go and go ahead thumping melons, okay, and stuff. If you happen to see him again, and somewhere in the grocery store, and he looks at you again, and he looks for him, you should smile again. You should smile every, if you see him. He may not ever say anything, but you should practice smiling when men look at you. Now, sometimes men will look at you, and they will just smile. I've had that happen. Um, Matt and I were actually on a date. <laughs> on a date, we were out and about, on a date, enjoying the date over at Bainbridge Island, and there was a gentleman sitting at a table right behind him, and he was sitting with three very good-looking blonde women and stuff, and they were speaking some Scandinavian language, because there's a lot of Scandinavian people here, living here in uh, Seattle, and they were speaking some Scandinavian language, and I noticed he would, I would look up or look over Matt's shoulder, and I noticed he would be looking at me, he would be sitting, and then he would see me, and then he'd Put his head down, and then he, and then I'd go on with Matt, and you know, drinking beer and talking. And then I'd maybe glance over, and he was looking at me again, and stuff, you know. And so all of a sudden, you know, I decided I'd smile. So I smiled really big, and stuff. And he smiled back, and then he put his head down. He was like, he put his head down and stuff, you know, because of course I'm on a date. I'm not gonna. But even then, I don't want to be unfriendly. I don't want to ever appear unfriendly, and so. I smile all the time at people, you know. Sometimes people smile back, sometimes they don't. When I wasn't dating, I smiled all the time at guys. It's a it's a really it is like the number one flirt thing to do that women are not doing. We're so we're either tired or we're pissed or we just got a bunch of issues or whatever and you know, or we think somebody's gonna think we're soft if we smile and stuff. Just smile. You have a beautiful face. Use your teeth. Get out of these places. Get out of the hood where you can't smile, you know, and stuff, which, okay, whatever. But get out of these spots where you can't smile and go to places where you can. Well, what spots do I go to to find these men? I suggest you don't go to places where it's 99.9% .9 black people. You go to places where there aren't many Black people, and there's a lot of places like that, you know. Black people, for some reason, we're really dry. We're dry as Gandhi sandals when it goes to, you know, getting out and about. That's fine. That's a good thing for you, you know. If you're looking to enter into the, in the, to the realm of interracial dating, go to where there aren't a bunch of black people, you know, and stuff. And I would go to places. I would go to museums, clubs bars and all these places, you know, when I was younger, that there weren't a bunch of black women and stuff. You know why? Because if you go to a place, say you go to the club and it's a bunch of black people, and sometimes you go to those clubs and there's like one or two non-black guys there and stuff, and you think, oh yeah, that's great, you know, maybe I'll be able to talk to him, you know, because you're in an environment, you feel more comfortable or whatever. Yeah, that's a no-no. That's a, you're setting yourself up really for failure in that uh, case, um, because 
there's a, probably 10 or 20 other black women who are spotting that guy and have decided that they like so-and-so, the hot Asian guy, you know, and I've seen a, Asian guys at all black clubs or the hot white guy at the, you know, all black, and they're on him like white on rice. And because many of us are so needy and desperate, we're buying him drinks, we're on him. So no, he's not going to notice you. You need to be in a place where there is a mixed crowd, okay? You may be one of the only few black women in there, but that gives you the edge of being exotic. I don't really know why black women are so offended by uh, exotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you've been in this country a long time, and we get it and everything, and white people should be used to you and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get that, okay? But you're exotic to many white men, you're something new out of all the blonde and brunette heads, you know, that are in there. There's this brown skin, you know, you know, beautiful woman, you know, and stuff looking good with, you know, with her tight afro or whatever you're doing with your hair or your twist or whatever you're doing, you know, and stuff. And he's looking at you like, oh my God, the goddess Venus has stepped out, you know, and stuff, because you're different, you're different, and stuff, use the exotic factor to your advantage, you have to know that for many white men, and I don't know why this is, I don't know if this is part of conditioning, or if it's because there's so many, nothing but a brother, uh, black women who just won't shut up, and stuff, you know, they really do think that black women aren't interested in them at all. I've had many men I've dated, many, 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 including my own husband, who told me, and he had, he's dated black women previously, but when he first started dating black women, he told me, he said, I thought that black women were only interested in black men. He said, that's what I thought. He said, I didn't think anything else. He said, I was so surprised to find out. And that's really the thing for most white men. They're not really looking for you to, as many as many black women seem to believe, they're not looking for you to um, make the first move or chase them or something like that. There's some guys that want you to do that, but those guys are jokers that you don't want to mess with anyway. What they're looking at, what they're looking for is that you show interest. And stuff because they're not really sure black women are even interested in them. And yes, it's weird to think about. I think it's part of conditioning. I think it's part of a culture of black women who just won't shut their mouths about how much they don't want to date non black men, you know, and stuff. That's why I always say for black women that are interested in dating non black men, you should be just as vocal as all the women who are nothing but a brother. You should be just as vocal and stuff. And so, um, you know, and I'm trying to be just as vocal. So white men know, yes, there are lots of black women out there very interested, you know, and non-black men, for them to know there are lots of black women out there that are very interested in dating you, you know, and stuff. For the black women, you need to show that. You need to show that interest. You know, you could do something as, as simple as the smile, the maybe little wave, you know, hey, there are a bunch of good old movies that, you know, show women and how women flirted. There are some good classics that show you some classic flirting and how it happens to draw men in. You know, you look open and you look friendly. Believe me, I'm telling you, women think, oh, yeah, they're not going to come or, or, um, you know, uh, non-black guys aren't interested in us. They don't want to talk to, yeah, whatever. I've I've had men talk to me just from smiling, you know, just from the little wave, just from a little stare, you know, with the smile. You know how to do, ladies. You know how to, you know, do the smiling eyes. Where you know, do your little eyes, make your eyes um soft. Do a little, you know, you know, something like that. Really subtle and stuff, you know. Do something like that, you know, and because, you know, guys are just, they're looking to see if you have interest. And I don't mean look like this. I don't mean, you know, do, I mean, keep, keep staring at him for a couple of seconds. What I've heard is like it's five, but, you know, give it a couple of seconds where you stare at him. He's staring at you back. Do the smile, ladies and stuff, you know, now. The th a thing I also want women to know is not every man you do that to is going to jump on you and want to date you, 
okay, or jump on you and get the flirting thing. Some men just don't get it. That's okay. Those men are really socially disabled and they shouldn't be dating anybody anyway. Um, but someone will get it. Someone will understand it, you know. And I get the shy thing too, ladies. I get that a lot of you ladies are shy. You know what? I'm shy too. I know people will think, oh, yeah, yeah, I am. I'm painfully shy, okay, and have been all my life. But you know what? I can also smile at people and have people come over and then start the conversa a conversation with someone and start talking to someone very easily. I, I don't really, I just do it. I just go through it and I just have done it, you know, and so. I don't sit around, and I'm not sitting around, you know, over in the corner. Don't sit over in the corner where nobody can see you. Be out. Be where people can see you, under a light or whatever. Don't go in the corner. Don't sit with two or three women. Please, please, please stop doing that. No man wants to be turned down by a group of women, okay? Don't go out with all your girlfriends and stuff. Maybe just one friend you can go out to, you know, if you have a white girlfriend, you know, that's cool, that's not trying to hate on you, our dating, then I'd go out with her, you know, and stuff. Um, if you've got a, just a black girlfriend and stuff, and she's not trying to hate on you, our dating, I'd go out with her. But just one friend, not two or three women, I mean, not three or four women, don't do that. No man is going to talk to you. I don't care how grinning, whatever you are, with a group of women, because no man wants to be turned down in a group, okay, and stuff, and just appear open, go to places where there are men that you are seeking, okay, don't go to the black club or the the black people's event where there's like the one or two white dudes, you know, or non-black dudes, and they're all on you, you know, you're all on them, you know, and it's a 10 million other black women on him trying to get him, he's not really going to notice you. When it comes to Hispanic or Asian men, the thing, and I've heard this from Asian men, is that you need to go to an event where Asian men are hooking up with black women, because Asian men are not really forward. That's just sort of a cultural thing. And so you won't get them coming up to you and maybe talking and stuff like that. In, in most cases, they are not very forward. So if there's a meetup group, or some kind of group that you have in your area that there's like Asian men and black women meeting, you should go to that. Hispanic men, I find, are very forward, okay? And, you know, they really don't mind talking and flirting and, you know, really, and they're really flirtatious and stuff, you know. Um, you might have to be a little careful because sometimes they're just really flirtatious, you know, and stuff, and it may not be kind of a serious a serious thing and stuff. You need to be careful. But they're really flirtatious. I find them to be really flirtatious, uh, very charming. They're really, really, they really, really are great gentlemen and stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, I lived in San Antonio for um, about two years, and they did a couple of Hispanic guys. They were really great guys and stuff. And, you know, very, I mean, really excellent gentlemen and stuff, you know, always very respectful. And, you know, but they're they're not real shy. And um, if they have an interest in you and stuff, you just need to show your interest also, ladies. Um, Please, ladies, you don't have to buy drinks and you don't have to go up to the guy and start talking and everything. You know, if you're sitting in the coffee shop or if you're somewhere, make sure you look open. That's the biggest thing is to look open, look happy, look happy, look, you know, look like you, you're, you're, you know, you need to be happy about life. Nobody wants to talk to some downtrodden, depressed woman. And if he does, I would date that man, you know, and stuff. Men want a woman that is womanly, that is happy, that is carefree, okay? You know, I mean, don't, don't, you know, don't go in carrying all your drama with you and stuff. Um, you know, don't go in and, don't go in and, and, you know, try to play sister soldier. Don't, don't go in and, and, and make it a dramatic event. It's supposed to be light and friendly when you when you first start flirting with somebody it's supposed to be light and friendly and i've you know 
had a couple of guys and, and we've talked and, and I, I played pool with some guys. I mean, I flirted with men and had men ask me out when on night days I was not looking my best. OK, and I try my best to look my best. But it was some days I just was not looking exactly the way I wanted to look. And because of who I was and my demeanor and friendliness, you know, I'm a big jokester. I'm a little silly and stuff. You know, you want to appear feminine and happy. Now, let me tell you, this is not the most feminine hairstyle ever known to man. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, it's all natural. Man, yeah, 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 blah, 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 whatever. Okay. This is not the most feminine hairstyle ever to appear. So there are other things that I do to play up my femininity. Now, my husband loves my hair. It took him a little while to get um, used to it. But last night, he was just saying, good Lord, you sure are sexy. I just love your hair. And so, um, but there are other things I think that I play up that kind of, you know, make the hair not the main focal point. As you notice, I, I wear my kind of big earrings and stuff, and I still do my nails, and I actually need to get them done, but I still do my nails. I wear a little lipstick, maybe a little mascara. For you ladies that aren't big on makeup, I'm one of those ladies. I'm not big on makeup, but I do like lipstick, and I do like lip gloss. A little mascara, make those eyes. Hey, get your eyebrows arched, maybe a little shadow. If you don't want a little shadow, no shadow at all and stuff, but Something that exudes your femininity and your feminine lure, you know, and stuff. I mean, you can't go out looking dowdy. You, you, sorry, I don't care how much you flirt. You can't go out looking too dowdy and stuff. And I'm not asking you to wear a skin-tight dress or all that stuff. For the ladies that just are not really into dressing like that, you know, hey, some nice jeans, a nice sweater, something feminine that shows that you're a woman now really I, i'm i'm sorry to say this but the the truth of the matter is i'm the kind of woman you could pretty much put a gunny sack on and you won't mistake me for not being a woman okay but you have to know what looks good on your body what makes you look feminine and still be comfortable in because there's you if you are uncomfortable you'll look uncomfortable and stuff but go out there and start doing the simplest, simplest thing is the smile and the look, you know, that you give. And ladies, don't be upset if the man is not barking like a dog with his tongue hanging out, you know, and stuff. Yeah, you won't get every man. You won't draw in every man. But you will draw someone eventually. Someone will get it. And they'll come up to you and they'll start talking. Be ready to talk. That's the thing is be ready to talk. Once he gets up there, don't be like, oh, my God, what, what am I supposed to do? Be ready to talk. Have some subjects or something to talk about. If you're at an art event, have some subjects to talk about art. Be ready to talk, okay? Be ready to chit-chat. Don't get too serious. Don't start telling him how you want to have his baby. Don't tell him how you want to get married and all that stuff. Keep it light and friendly. Remember, don't talk politics and don't talk religion, okay? Please, please, please. No, no, no. You talk about easy argument and stuff, you know, and stuff. Keep it light and friendly. This is a first meeting. Keep smiling. Keep looking feminine, you know, and stuff. If you really may be really, really interested in him, you may want to touch him. Not on some places inappropriate. Maybe on the arm or something like that. You may want to touch him. I'm, I'm good for touching people on the back. Good, good, good. And stuff that gives him some kind of ink signal that oh she's interested there's body language keep your body language very relaxed and and feminine it it, it matters and stuff you know so ladies I mean go out and find the other things that you might want to do you know about the shy thing you're, you're just going to have to work through it and and get over it that's the best I can say is I know how it is to be shy I know how it is to not want to be rejected by someone but that's a part of life you know and you have to kind of get over it if your ego is a little bruised have your moment of your ego being bruised and then move on it's not going to kill you to be rejected okay and stuff and rejection really you should always think of this always think rejection is God's protection it really is it's not some 
basis. It's not telling you that you're a bad person. You're not and stuff. You have to also remember that if you if you want to reject people, you have to be able to take rejection. You just can't reject people and not ever be rejected, you know, and stuff. You have to be able to take rejection and stuff. So just think of it as that, hey, that wasn't really the person for me. That wasn't really the person for me to meet and then move on with your life. But, you know, yes, have keep it light and friendly. Look care, please look carefree. Don't look pained, okay? Remember, be aware of your face and what your face is doing. Don't slump over, you know, stand up tall. That way your boobs stick out, okay? And stuff, you know, I mean, hey, I mean, it works, okay? And stuff, stand up tall, boobs stick out, and, you know, if you got a little butt, hey, all that is working too, you know, and stuff. Stand up tall, you know, look, look confident. And best to feel confident, to look confident and stuff. But that may come with time. If you're not really ready to do all this, this may be too much. Just take some time off until you are ready to do it. But ladies, first and foremost, please remember to give someone that dazzling smile that you have. Someone is going to appreciate it. Even if you're walking down the street, you catch people's eye smile okay you know and stuff don't worry about you know oh my god some you know some guy is gonna try to molest me if i smile you know if, if you're in that freaked out mode then you know maybe you need some therapy help and stuff um but you know smile someone's going to appreciate your smile you know and stuff and yes Flirting is not the easiest thing in the whole wide world, but it's something that you have to do if you want to draw men in and you want to draw the attention that you'd like. You want to you want to have a confident man. You have to be confident. Remember, remember, you have to be what it is you want. You want someone that's loving. You want someone that's carefree. You want someone that's, you know, fun. You have to be that. You can't draw what you aren't. OK. And so please remember that. And uh, so that's my little lesson. The littlest one I'm going to have ever on flirting and stuff. You know, if you've got some more questions, um, please put them down at the bottom and I'll see if I can figure them out for you and, and answer them for you and everything. Um, so I enjoyed doing this. This is, this is fun. Um, so I'll talk to everybody uh, later. Bye bye.